It's 6 a.m. and the sun is up here in Berica Cogiado County, Kenya. And we are here to bring you the 10th apiary. Welcome and keep enjoying till the end. Most beekeepers in Africa practice old ways in beekeeping. Due to lack of land and knowledge has led to lack of bees for pollination. The hives here are surrounded by sharp thorns that will lead to difficulties in managing and harvesting. Today, we will identify new and better place for our bees. And this is where we have identified the location for our 10th apiary. We have to consider the wines, poles, soils and forage. The ground must be prepared so that we can be accurate on measurements. Ensuring that structures are perfectly straight and upright during construction involves a combination of precise techniques, tools and methods. We use a plumb bob to check vertical alignment of the poles are perfectly upright. If you need an apiary plan or construction, please contact us on 7 to 7. Due to the termites in this area, we have to protect our poles by wrapping them with black PVC paper. If any misalignments are detected, adjustments are made immediately to correct the issue before proceeding. This place gets rains twice a year, and this is the period of rains. The apiary is taking shape, and we hope we will finish it soon before the rains. Remember to subscribe, share with your friends and leave a comment. Our venture in modern apiculture has motivated more people to construct apiaries that can carry many hives in a small space that we used to keep. Our bees on the trees and under the trees. Mm. Our new home for bees taking shape and this is the third day. So far we have constructed 10 apiaries in different parts of Kenya. Three in Nyamera, Nondi, Kodera, Kojiado and Machakos. The fascia board is fixed directly to the lower ends of the roof trusses and usually is for supporting all the water gutters. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell and share our content. Gutters collect rainwater and direct it away from splashing to your hives. The water is collected and stored in water tank to service the water trench during the dry season. Round poles are often used in construction because they have several advantages, including structural integrity. Round poles are symmetrical, which means they distribute loads evenly and are resistant to lateral forces. This makes them a good choice for areas prone to natural disturbances like earthquakes and landslides. Due to the black cotton soil, we have brought in the morum. The type of morum used on construction apiary foundations is important because it directly impacts the stability and durability of the structure. Different types of morum have varying levels of compaction, drainage properties and load-bearing capacity. This is the water trench we are making. We use plastic PVC to make retain water for a longer period and we construct it with the wire mesh to make it stronger and durable. Before we proceed, 
let's see the additional value of this water trench on apiary number 2. This apiary is projected to carry 200 hives. So far we have at hive number 110. In this water trench we have made it a home for fish. Tilapia is doing well, that makes our water to be more useful than before. So we have to feed our fish while our bees are working inside the apiary. This is inside the apiary. You can hear the sound of hard-working bees. And every hive here is so active and aggressive when you touch them. If you want to know more about this apiary number two, please check out on the podcast list provided on the link down here. Let's continue on this apiary number 10 in Coggiardo. This guy is called Jacko from Kissy. He's the one behind the timber work making sure everything is on the joint. People build apiaries for many reasons, including Honey production. Beekeepers can harvest and sell honey from their bees. Pollination. Bees are efficient pollinators that can increase the quality and yield of crops. Environmental activism. Some people and organizations believe bees are critical to the health of the environment. Self-sufficiency. Beekeeping can make people feel more self-sufficient. But with us in addition, we build apiary for easier management, space, security and harvest more, yielding bee products. Now let's finalize the interior floor with a nice textured finish. In this section, we are not using cement. We will align the dry concrete on the floor to identify if it can work well with lower hives. This time around, we have located our staircase on the middle of the apiary. This is the upper floor of the apiary that has two levels where hives will be resting. Joseph, Job and Wycliffe are making sure that the water trench is retaining water by finishing it with smooth surface. Our trench now is ready and we can keep the record as apiary number 10. This is the tank stand we are constructing to store the rainwater that will be used for refilling the trench and watering the flowers around the apiary. Our apiary is now complete, and this is how we have put in the hives and the fencing. Around the apiary, we have planted beech trees that can boost the foliage around. If you need the list of flowers, please contact us on the number given in the description. Today we have brought in 50 hives to start small with and we can see good number of bees checking the hives.
Thanks for watching. Let's restore the beast together. See you next in our 11th apiary from Sagana.